These are the new Gen 2 burrs for the fellow Ode brew grinder. These burrs were recently released and were highly anticipated. What's up fellow coffee nerds? Hope you're doing awesome out there and thank you for joining me for another video. So if you're a coffee nerd like me, then you're probably aware of what a fellow Ode brew grinder is. And you're probably also aware that they just released some new updated Gen 2 burrs for this bad boy. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the Gen 2 burrs versus the original or Gen 1 burrs. We're gonna grind some coffee, do a grind comparison. We're gonna brew some coffee and do a side-by-side -side comparison taste test so that you can decide if the Gen 2 burrs are worth it over the Gen 1 burrs for you. And spoiler alert, they are. As I've said in previous burr videos, the Gen 1 burrs are not bad burrs. However, they don't typically allow you to grind fine enough for a single cup of coffee. A lot of us who are into specialty coffee for single cups, we're doing like 15, 18 grams, even sometimes going lower than that and doing like 12 or 10 gram, you know, just different methods that sometimes require a less, you know, amount or, or less dose of coffee. And the problem with the Gen 1 burrs is they don't get fine enough to be able to expose enough of the surface area of the ground bean to extract properly in that smaller dose. So the new Gen 2 burrs allow you to grind finer and they have a more uniform or consistent grind particle size, um, which is fantastic versus its predecessor, the Gen 1s. They are machined very nicely and the teeth are nice and sharp, which is important. They appear to have a more aggressive pre-breaker section and a redesigned tooth geometry. However, the number one thing you'll probably notice is the lack of this interlocking outer tooth ring. I believe the interlocking burr design is an attempt to keep people from grinding too fine because the ode is not designed to grind much finer than what you would want to do for brew or filter grinding. It is not designed for espresso. So the Gen 2 burrs not having this interlock design on them allows you to grind finer and more uniform. I left a link down in the description for you to Fellow's website, which has a great comparison chart between the burrs that they offer, like the Gen 2, the original Gen 1s, and the SSP MP burrs that you can now get installed in the Ode directly from Fellow. So there's a lot of great information on there, and I left that link down in the description for you to check out if you wanna get even more information. You're probably aware of this, but for those of you that aren't, grinding finer is important when it comes to coffee. The finer you grind, the more the surface area of the bean is exposed, and for lack of a better scientific explanation, the more flavor you're gonna get in your cup of coffee. With that being said, there are still a number of factors that will affect the way your coffee tastes, like the coffee you're choosing to brew and the roast level, the type of water you're using, the brewer you're using, the filter paper you're using, there's a lot of variables, but just know grind size isn't the only thing that affects the taste of your coffee. However, grind size is a huge player in the effect of the taste of your coffee. Grinding finer and more uniform is fantastic, and it can greatly improve the taste of your cup of coffee, but it can also negatively impact the taste of your cup of coffee if you're grinding too fine. A lot of times if you're grinding too fine for let's say a pour over style brew, you will have a bitter or over extracted taste in your cup and that's not good. Experiment with your grinder with the grind size that works best for you with the coffee you're using with the flavor that you're trying to get or a flavor that you're happy with. All right enough of me blabbering on let's do a quick grind comparison and then we will do a brew comparison and taste test. For pour over with the Gen 1 burrs, Fellow recommends grinding somewhere between the two to five range. I will be grinding at two. And for the Gen 2 burrs, Fellow recommends grinding in a range of four to eight. And again, I will be grinding on the finer side at four. Obviously the Gen 1 burrs, the grind is a lot coarser. The Gen 2 burrs, the grind is a lot uh, finer. Uh, noticeably finer and a lot more uniform as well. Still not quite as fine as I would probably go for a single cup, you know, pour over of 15 grams, but let's find out how they taste. I feel like it's looking a, a little coarse, but that was sort of to be expected. So pretty quick brew on that. It was about a two minute total brew time, which is a little fast. Again, as I've said in other videos, total brew time is not a deciding factor in the taste of your cup of coffee, the taste of your coffee is. However, it is a good measurement point, a data point to just kind of compare other brews you've done. Two minutes or just kind of sub two minutes, it was like 158 is pretty quick. And that is an indicator that the, the grind is too coarse, but we'll see how it tastes. Obviously you can already tell you much finer grind, much better looking, barely even dripping anything out yet on the, uh, on the bloom pour here, so. There you go, first drip wasn't even till almost 30 seconds. 
So total brew time on that was about 235. Obviously we had a slower drawdown, we had a finer grind, probably had a lot better extraction in this particular cup, but the taste test will tell. Okay, it's a little underwhelming. Um, it doesn't have like a really extreme, you know, sour taste of under extracted, but it's definitely an under extracted cup of coffee. The lack of a better way to describe it is just, it's a weak cup. It just doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. So let's try the Gen 2s. Yeah, a lot more flavor, a lot more noticeable flavor notes. This coffee has a very um, strong sort of berry kind of note to it. I believe on the bag it said uh, mixed berry punch was one of the flavor notes, uh, and I can definitely taste a lot more of the fruity notes in this one. Um, I'm getting obviously very similar flavor notes there, the same coffee. However, the the flavor notes and the um, the extraction and the intensity of those flavor notes in the Gen 2 burrs versus the Gen 1 burrs is night and day difference. It's like basically just taking the flavors that are in this, giving them a lot more clarity and boosting them a little bit. Obviously, no surprise, I spoiled it in the beginning, the Gen 2 burrs are better than the Gen 1 burrs. And for the price point, I believe these are like 80 bucks right now on Fellow's website, um, compared to getting something like some higher performance SSP or the Gorilla Gear Burrs or something like that that's starting to approach the, you know, 175, 180 to $200 and up price range for Burrs. I think they are a great contender. Um, and at the price point, I don't think um, you could get anything any better. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for joining me for another one. And I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.